Hi team, thanks for showing up for your learning. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at uh, the role of the parabola's a value. So let's check these types of problems out. Uh, these ones ask you to look at three different parabolas and associate them with the uh, appropriate a value. I know that negative a values open downwards, and we have two of those, so that's great. And then positive a values open upwards, and we have one of those. If the parabola was being multiplied here by a number that's smaller than one, I know it's going to be flattened. So I can move these around so that they match the appropriate uh, spots. Uh, you move them around like, why, why can't I move it around? Why won't they move? There, that one now moved. But they were already in the right order. Haha, <laughs> trick question. So let's put this one back to the beginning there. Yeah, and now see, this one is the minus one. It's the narrowest. It's the natural position. This one is much shallower, so it uh, it's this value here. I'll show you another one. This one was a great example. Yes, hooray, new problem. Okay, so here, we're looking for a parabola that opens downwards and is a little squished. There it is. We're looking for a parabola that opens upwards and is not squished. There it is. So let's associate that one with that. Let's associate this one with this, that one with that, and then look opens downwards and is not squished. There, that one. Submit. Yay. So this uh, tests your ability to just know what that A value is doing, and their explanation is very good. Okay. If it's wide, the parabola is wide, A will be small, like less than one. And if it's narrow, then A will be big, like bigger than one, or maybe one. Okay, so that's how you would distinguish for those A values. Any questions, uh, send me a screenshot of problems that you don't know. Hit me up by email or come find me on Tuesday. Bye for now, everyone.